Your first question is, please describe the knowledge, training, and experience that has prepared you to serve as a fire chief. Thank you for the question. Um, so I first began in the fire and EMS services in 1992. I began as a volunteer uh, with a local fire department and shortly thereafter in 1994, began volunteering as an EMT as well. And so I'm now entering into my 30th year um, in this profession. Throughout that time, I spent a number of years in the volunteer um, arena and then shortly thereafter, began my first professional career for the North Shore Fire Department in the Milwaukee suburbs. Worked there for just short of three years and then and enjoyed that opportunity to um, operate in the Milwaukee County system. And then thereafter, I have been with the Madison Fire Department since 1999. Um, I've spent my time with the City of Madison Fire Department as a firefighter, as a firefighter paramedic, uh, as a firefighter paramedic too, as a lieutenant, a training officer, and I presently serve um, as a division chief overseeing EMS training and logistics. Um, throughout my time, um, I've also spent a lot of, of time in teaching. I've spent time in the healthcare system outside of the fire department and have been a lifelong Madisonian. Um, I'm a fan of ongoing learning. I try to always keep current and make sure that I'm always staying in tune with the latest trends and more importantly, the latest facts um, as they relate to the fire and EMS services. Um, I've tried to always do my best um, to go throughout my career with my eyes and my ears wide open. And I've tried to learn um, from absolutely every experience that I've been through. And with each ongoing experience, I feel I'm able to apply those learning um, encounters to the next experience in front of me. I believe I'm somebody who has always tried um, to be flexible and adaptive. I try to um, be open and approachable. I try to be creative with what I do um, and hopefully um, applying those principles um, towards fire and EMS services has allowed me to become successful um, and would allow me to fulfill this role and, and achieve the success uh, on a collaborative behalf of both the fire department and the community. Thank you. What is your vision for the Madison Fire Department? Thank you. You know, the vision for the fire department for me um, is I've got a lot of ideas, as I'm sure we all do, um, and they're all important. But first and foremost, right now, we do a very good job with service excellence. And I want to make sure that no matter what my vision may be, that we continue to deliver fire and EMS services at a high level with a high um, aptitude for expertise and technical ability. So those things for me would never go away. Um, on that area of things, I enjoy the prospect of us being a flexible, adaptive, creative um, department. I'd like to see us be a department that's data driven and that can continually digest the data as more and more becomes available to us. With any data that comes our way, I always think that it's important to make sure that we put that through a strong human filter. And it's important for us to recognize if we're going to be data-driven, how that data um, works to develop policies and workflows and how that affects not only the membership of the Madison Fire Department in every aspect of what we do, but as importantly or more importantly, how that data-driven uh, policy and workflow would end up impacting the city of Madison and the community that we serve. So again, creative and flexible, but data-driven um, with a really strong human element applied to it. I would like to see us be um, much more of a bottom-up approach as opposed to top-down. We have a phenomenal base um, of employees that work for the Madison Fire Department who are committed, who are energized. Um, and I think it would behoove us to really embrace and support and build ideas um, from the field and those that are generated from the field and the people that are out interacting with our community every single day. If we can embrace ideas, support, and, and, and try to promote ideas that are developed at that level, I think it's going to lead for a, a tremendous amount of success for us. Um, I'd like us to be an organization that can embrace change. I think change is important. Change is coming at us fast and furious these days. And as we have the ability that I just mentioned to include data within that change and apply the human element to it, I think we should embrace it. I think it's time for us to try lots of new ideas. 
ideas that are brought to us by the community and ideas that are generated from within and from our field providers. Um, I think we have to be confident, confident to apply that change, to try new ideas, and then confident to own the success or the failures of those ideas. If those ideas don't end up meeting the benchmarks that we anticipated they would, I think it's incredibly important for us to acknowledge that and then reformulate and even revert back to where we were. But I'd like to make sure that we keep the energy moving forward and continue to embrace that change, try new things and look for some positive results on behalf of the community. More than anything, um, the X's and O's of the department comparatively, I think are, are easy. But my big vision for the Madison Fire Department and more importantly for the city of Madison is to make sure that we stay focused on the community service aspect of what we do. It's important to understand that everything that we do uh, makes an impact for better or for worse. And the opportunities for us to interface with the community are oftentimes at some of the most challenging um, times for our community. So understanding and reminding ourselves of the impact that we make um, as a collective organization and understanding that it's so much more about the tactics and technique that we apply and that it's really um, has everything to do with the experience that we leave our community with. How do people feel after we return to the station after interacting with them? What's the experience that they had with us? And so th those are the things, the human elements that are really important to me. Um, within that, my vision really includes, um, you know, five to six main points that I would like to see a lot of focus on. I have a lot of energy and passion to continue to further our work with diversity, equity, and inclusion. Hand in hand goes with recruitment. Recruitment can move forward and become a 24 seven, 365 day a year um, task of ours to accomplish. And what I mean by that is recruitment is the open door for us for the future. Recruitment is how we continue to have a steady stream of phenomenal people join us. And if we look at recruiting and we look at putting ourselves out in the community and working with community groups, hosting sessions throughout the year, even when we're not having hiring processes to make people aware of our job, make people aware of the opportunities that exist, help show them the door to enter those opportunities. I think it's gonna to lead to great success for us. I'd like to see us work on a cadet program that would be an open door from our high school programs and our high schools into the fire department with strong mentorship, leadership by firefighters in the field and a collaborative program. I think we could have tremendous success. I'd like to see us work on community engagement. I'd like to see us work on assuring that we have a two-way series of communication. The door is always open and the community is always um, welcomed with a large invitation. And we have to be proactive about that. I'd like to see us really focus on employee engagement and recognition of our employees internally. I think with strong employee engagement, it'll lead to phenomenal results across the board for us. EMS is an area that we can continue to enhance. There are a lot of peripheral areas of EMS that we've seen tremendous success within recently, including community paramedicine, the city of Madison's CARES program and the like. And that's only scratching the surface. There's gonna be several additional opportunities um, that'll be faced, that we can face and that we can tackle and that we can find uh, results within. And lastly, I really believe in employee development. Employee development is an area where we can go hand in hand with the community, with our fire department members, with labor, with city leadership, and really look at what it means to be a Madison firefighter, what it means to be an apparatus engineer, a lieutenant, a paramedic, a division chief, all the way through our ranks. And again, collaboratively define the skill set, not just the technical skill set, but the set of soft skills and human skills and personal skills that we as a community would like to see in all of our positions. And then let's set forth a strong, clear, concise program of what we want those positions to be, what we want them to hold, and, and we can develop an educational process for our employees to get there. Um, I think that sums up the, the greater um, umbrella of the vision for the MFD. Thank you. If you are selected as the next chief, what are your priorities for the first year 
and the future. Thank you. So the priorities overall into the future would certainly be those five or six areas that I just ran through. Diversity, equity, inclusion, recruitment, community engagement, employee engagement and recognition, the enhancement of our EMS services, and employee development. Those, those are absolutely my long-term vision. Within the first year, um, to answer the first part of that question, the very first thing I would do is put together a letter and share it with every member of our agency. I think it's really important for everybody within our organization to understand where the fire chief um, sits from a perspective and a starting point and expectations um, and sort of a wish list or dreams, if you will. I would spend time sitting down with every member of our organization. I don't wanna have assumptions about the needs of our department. I certainly have viewpoints and I have a lot of passion and a lot of ideas, but I wanna make sure that as we set forth moving forward and set a plan and a pathway, that it's representative of everyone within our organization. And that I understand all the perspectives and the needs and the feedback um, that our people currently have. On the same right, I know I mentioned community engagement, but that has to be an initial component of what we'll do. We'll reach out and we'll get feedback from the community as a starting place. Where are we right now? And help us formulate those plans. I also think it's important to, um, anytime you have an opportunity to do a reset, and a reset of the foundational aspects of the department to look at basic internal workflows and making sure that everyone is on the same page, everybody has the same expectations, everybody has an equal uh, understanding of opportunities that are in front of them and how to accomplish day-to-day -day tasks. So I think it's very important to do a lot of listening within the first year, a lot of planning within the first year, collaborate, with labor, collaborate with our membership, collaborate with the community, and then set forth on the path to the planning that I had mentioned earlier with regard to those six main topics that I'd like to cover, assuring that all perspectives are heard and applied um, equally to those areas. Thank you very much. Uh, that concludes our questions. Um, and we'd like to Thank you for your interest and your participation in this process. Thank you very much for having me. Have a good rest of your day. You too.